irresistible. You will need plain flour or maida, 1 and 1 fourth cup, a quarter cup of butter, 6 tablespoons of powdered sugar, 2 tablespoons of milk powder, 3 4 teaspoon of yeast, I am using instant yeast here, and 2 thirds of a cup of warm milk. So let us start making it. To the warm milk, I am going to add in my powdered sugar. Give it a gentle stir around. Next comes in the yeast. Stir this well. If you are using dry yeast, then double the amount that is one and a half teaspoons. Now I am going to keep this aside in a warm spot for about 10 minutes. To a mixing bowl, I am going to add in my plain flour or maida and milk powder. I don't prefer to add salt into my donuts. If you wish to add salt, you can add salt. By the way, I am using salted butter. Our yeast is frothy now. Now let's add it to our dough. Now I am going to knead this dough. This will be quite on the soft side or the sticky side, but no worries. So our dough is mixed well. Now I am going to add in our butter to it. Now we are going to knead the butter through and we are going to knead this for about 5 more minutes. So I have been kneading this dough for about 8 to 10 minutes and this is going to be like this only. We don't want it to be stiff. We want this to be sticky, moist and nice. Now we are going to cover this and let it proof for about 1 hour. It depends on the temperature and the climate. It can take anywhere between 30 minutes to 1 and a half hours. So I am going to just cover this and keep this in a warm spot for about an hour. So our dough is doubled in volume, now I am going to add in a handful of our plain flour and maida and we are going to punch it down near it and make it a little bit stiffer. So you can see our dough is all collapsed now, I mean all the air is out. So keep dusting a little bit of plain flour and maida and make a dough out of it, I mean knead it for about a minute or so. So our dough is perfect and ready, I have added about a quarter of a cup of plain flour or maida to it. Now we are going to roll this. So before rolling I am going to dust our platform with a little bit of our plain flour or maida and start rolling. We don't want this to be very thick or very thin, I have rolled it in about half an inch thickness. Now I am going to take a glass, you can take any cookie cutters and cut it. So this should be fine. I am going to take a smaller bottle cap and get the center out. Now here I have a flower tray in which I am going to place in our donuts. Our donuts are rolled now I am going to cover these and pop this back in a warm spot for about 1 hour and then we are going to fry these. Here I have some oil heating up in medium flame and our donuts are also puffed. Now I am going to put in a small dumpling or our donut to check if the oil is hot enough. So this looks fine enough, we don't want it to be very hot, just perfect. I am going to add in one of our donuts. Make sure the flame is at medium, we don't want our donuts to be raw from inside. Once you see slight color in them, just turn them over. So our donuts are fried. Transfer them to a tissue. And let them cool to warm. Till then I am going to fry all of my donuts. Here I have three things, one is this dark chocolate sauce, white chocolate sauce and this is some custard, very thin custard. So I am going to add this custard to a syringe. Something like this, this will go inside our donuts. You can find the recipe for all these three things inside our website and it will be in the notes section of this text recipe. I also have some silver balls, some candies, coconut and some almonds. 
So at the first we are going to fill the donuts with the cream. So take the injection. So something like this. So I filled the custard inside our donuts. Now we are going to dip this inside the chocolate. So I am going to take one of these and this goes inside our chocolate just halfway through. Something like that and then you can sprinkle in anything. I am going for some almonds here. So like that I am going to make my donuts. You can sprinkle in anything that you wish. You can even do something like this. Our donuts are ready. See how soft and fluffy these are. Totally amazing. You can get dozens of these. I mean literally. So what are you waiting for? Check out the recipe on our website cooking as well. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye.